Uh, hey, YouTube. Well, on this YouTube shooter, apparently this, this is even crazier than we had first thought. At least I had first thought. Yesterday, I guessed that uh, this was some kind of domestic thing. That maybe she knew this man or these girls. Or maybe they were having affairs behind her back and all this kind of stuff. And apparently it's not that. It wasn't a, like a domestic thing. It's even something even less, even, even less sane. This woman was upset about her videos, I guess, being demonetized or in some kind of way that she was not getting the views she used to get. Many of her views were blocked. You know, it's just not that serious, people. <laughs> I mean, YouTube is nice. It's cute and everything. I mean, obviously, this is a freak incident. This woman had emotional mental uh, disorder of some sort. She even looks crazy. When, her, when she does her videos, she's, I mean, she never smiles. So, at least they're not blaming her on it, blaming her being Middle Eastern descent. They're not blaming, calling her a terrorist for that reason, which was the case a couple of years ago. They would have been doing that. But this girl was not happy with YouTube. So, is that a disgruntled employee? Because we're not really employees of YouTube. So, usually it's, it's a disgruntled ploy, employee be the section, second option. It could have been domestic. It could have been a disgruntled employee, right? It looks like it's neither. This is a unique situation where this damn uh, social media thing has gone too far. I mean, anybody can get on, on on here and make a video. So I guess this girl had, she had gotten up pretty far with her subscribers. I think her number is around 10,000 or something like that. And suddenly she wasn't getting the revenue. Well, you remember last year when everybody's revenue was cut in half? They came through that, and it seems like it's back normalized again. But they have had got this system in here. Okay, for you YouTubers, <laughs> don't do anything insane. Don't panic. They they do. This is this is a sidebar. We know this woman was crazy. She had mental problems, and she did what she did. But aside from that, if you're uh, stressing or angry about uh, the demonetization and all this kind of thing. My experience has been, if you're being demonetized, there are two things. One, you can uh, appeal the demonetization. If it's some legit, something that their machines are just picking up, then they will uh, uh, monetize your, your channel again. You have to appeal them though. Let's say you got to have a thousand views on, on each view that you, you uh, appeal. But if it looks like it's going in that way, it's going to be a thousand very soon. I would just go ahead and do it. And also, uh, the other thing is, if they're saying that something is wrong that keeps you continually being demonetized. Like for me, I, whenever I use the word coon in a title, use the word coon in a title, it got demonetized. What do I do? Don't use the word coon. <laughs> That's it. Don't use the word coon. You don't go out and do anything drastic. You don't panic. You don't think your life is over. You change your, 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 your format slightly. So the wonderful part about this thing is this woman, uh, she was an incompetent shooter. She killed no one. This guy... Uh, the one who, the primary one that was hurt. There's still some controversy. Some people are saying that she might have known one of the people there. Perhaps she knew him as her contact over the phone or online or something like that. And she went gunning for him. That's the possibility. But we still don't know anything, really. Uh, but officially, according to the police, she didn't know any of them. She didn't know them personally. But if she was having a dispute with YouTube and she was contacting YouTube, I would say that a contact person would be of some interest to her. I mean, after all, she did drive all these 10 hours driving just to get to their campus. So why go there if you didn't have a specific person in mind? We don't know. Wouldn't surprise me if that came out. But I was wrong yesterday. Well, I just guessed yesterday that it could be domestic. Domestic uh, crime of passion is much easier to understand than this bullshit here. 
her boyfriend was in there and had a girlfriend at work or something like that. And she went and shot the place. That would make more sense than this thing that, that uh, actually happened. But uh, at least no one was hurt. This woman, her, she couldn't have been, been a very happy person if she's going to kill herself over clicks and views and subs. So maybe she's out of her misery. Anyway, that's the update. I won't linger on this thing. I'm sure they'll demonetize all of these about the shooting. It's not something we should be trying to cash in on. But uh, it's interesting because it kind of touches home. Okay, people, I'm off to the doctor. I got to go and find out about what my treatments are going to be and all this. So I got to brace myself. <laughs> brace yourself, boy, <laughs> to find out what I have to go and do now about this cancer diagnosis. Okay. No, I'm not going to be coming in here giving updates on every time I go to the hospital. But uh, for me, I'm kind of anxious. I want to know what to do. Okay, y'all wish me luck. Pray for me and I'll pray for you guys as well. Later.